when people have these near death experiences, okay, mm -hmm. or one where they're dying on a table and they a commonly described they leave their body and they look back on themselves, okay? Mm -hmm. That's a thing going that's something, okay? Right. Let's investigate this. Okay? So the test for whether you really left your body or whether you were hallucinating it is get some writing that faces the ceiling up above your body, okay? And th they've done this experiment. And if you're floating above your body, above that piece of paper, when you come back to life, you should be able to say what's written on that piece of paper. And that is yet to happen. If you get above it. Yeah, if you get above it, correct. That is yet to happen. That'd so be really good. Where would good. that piece of paper be suspended? Yeah, no, you have to no, put it up on a shelf or something. Yeah, you'd be able to see, put it in a way that it would be clearly. But then the person would have to die knowing that piece of paper was there and then be brought back? Um, possibly. If the, if, yeah, I mean, the. the so you'd have the, to tell them, hey, I, I know you're going to die. You're, you're going to die. We're gonna if you come back, yeah. I have a piece of paper up here. That's Go read like from it. A pretty ridiculous experiment to no, try to if achieve. If you care. Wait, 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 wait. Pause. Pause. Uh, from dip. Ridiculous experiment. So like, hey, I know this guy's about to die, but instead of concentrating that, on bringing him back to life, let's write down well, on do a both. piece of paper <laughs> you know, and leave it on of, the But who the fuck is going to do that? No. You know what they did? What? In, in 1895, after Wilhelm Röntgen discovers x-rays and they find out it penetrates your body and you can see bones inside your body, you know what they did? What? They set up x-ray machines at the bedside of dying people to see if they can see a soul leave the body. Hmm. And everybody just got cancer from the radiation. <laughs> they died from cancer. <laughs> no, they were... <laughs> I thought that was an admirable attempt. Yes, to, to, to make a measurement. Yeah, that's interesting. But, uh, yes, but, but how they, would they you never saw... possibly know that someone is going to die and or have a near death experiment? What you and do then, every near death experience rather, and then put a, a piece of paper if you on to, a shelf. You want what you want to do? You'd have to be really organized about that. Yeah, and, and if you want to do this on mass. You'd have to just like have shelves in every have shelves bedroom in every in every room of every ER so, every ER correct or or yeah. How often does that happen where people have uh, above their body experiences? It's very frequently reported. Body? Very frequently. Oh yeah, I'm just yeah. saying that the the brain is capable of so much extraordinary thought within itself. Of course. That uh, what I care about for the world is what is objectively true and what's objectively true can be verified by multiple people and if it's only true within your head it's not useful is all i'm saying how could it not be useful to, to, it's other useful people. to you 